Don't get married. Don't get married. Just right. Use the bitch. Just want to commend you on your show. This should automatically be like a religious practice for everyone. You are number one professor of all time, and I think you should be nominated for a professor of the year. Every day I listen to your show. Every day I just get a little inch more and more and more and more. Not to get married. She is an anomaly. Okay. And if you knew what anomaly meant, maybe you wouldn't have agreed so quickly. You're saying that you have no idea why so many people like her. No, that's not what anomaly means. Okay, I'm an idiot. I was engaged for three months, and my ex fiance has been listening to your show a lot. And I'm not blaming you, of course not, but he wants to live a Tom like his life. Ever since I've had that attitude, pump them and dump them, it's been working out a lot better than trying to find wine and dine them. It's obvious you're a woman hater. Oh, no, I love women. No, 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 I listen to your show. I love women. Don't I love women. love women. Oh, I do. That's why I've had as many as I can fit into my bed. I, I, I okay, love women. I can't get enough. I give you, but overall, you, you hate women. You know, Dr. Neil Warren Clark, the 29... Oh, Dr. Neil, Dr. Neil Clark Warren with the 29 dimensions of compatibility. Yes, there's not 29 dimensions. There's two dimensions. Do you know what they are? The penis and a vagina. <laughs> Treat women like crap and they come back for more. Exactly. It's like dogs. They're like dogs. Give them a piece of meat, they come back with their brother. <laughs> it's no accident we call them bitches. Chuck, what did you want to say to Pete? Man, I just want to let you know that, Pete, you are so whipped, it's pathetic. You're like a green blade of grass, man. You are a gameless wonder. You wonder why you have no game. You have no game, you have no balls, and it's pathetic. You got your nose so wide open, you can fit an Amtrak train through that thing, man. It's ridiculous. She comes over your house, you need to be slapped. In fact, I wish I was close to you, I'd slap you too. There is no better feeling, man, than just putting a couple of handfuls on those melons and just holding on. <laughs> whenever I'm not looking, I find the jerk. And then whenever I'm looking, I'll find a bigger jerk. What's the deal? I don't know. I, all I know is that when the guy's a jerk, most women come back for more. That is true, but... <laughs> I just wanted to call and let you know I just came back from Brazil about a week ago. Really? Best trip of my life. Yes, two weeks straight, man. Uh, were you uh, picking up more ass than a toilet seat? I think so, man. It was diarrhea, if you want to call it, man. It was all over, man. <laughs> now, Victor, hang on a second here. Let me get Mark on. Mark, what did you want to say to Victor? Victor. Yes, Mark. One thing, tell your wife, I want you to give your wife an ultimatum. What should I tell her? You tell her, look, if you're not going to give me everything that I want from you, I'm going to take 20 bucks out of your wallet, and I'm going to go down the street and go find it. See what she has to say about that. Who really cares about what women think? All we really care is about how they look. If you wanted to, you could pick a specific example of a great woman and make a big generalization about women based on her. I'm not saying there can't be a great woman out there. I'm simply saying that in general, women think they are entitled in this country. Women think they're entitled to money just because a marriage didn't work out. That's the other thing you keep saying that just makes me spit mad. From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Whoa, okay. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about it's a different time of the radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800. Eight six six. It's wide open telephones on this Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Anything goes here, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week. Anything you think we should have talked about, you can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game. 
long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. All you do is call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Crystal, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Crystal. Um, well, I just had to say I fully agree that a success is the best revenge because I am in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, surrounded by people who were putting me down, who would make fun of me, and who said that I wouldn't get anywhere. And here I am. I'm supporting myself, and I have a excellent job. I'm loving it, and I make a decent amount of living. I get the expenses that I want. I get to do whatever I want. I get to travel. I love it. And I'm only 22. It's just like I make everybody jealous, and it's the best. <laughs> yeah. As I say, you don't have to put sugar in anybody's gas tank. You don't have to. Uh, just, just be better at what you do. Yes. I mean, and I was really lucky. And now I have those people coming up to me, and they're like, wow, can you get us a job? And it's just like, no. I don't think so. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's just like, I don't know you. Who are you? <laughs> so, I love that. and, you know, I'm loving it. It's great. I'm very happy. It's, I don't think I could have done any better. <laughs> well, I think that's great. Congratulations to you on that. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I might add, by the way, that, um, you know, all these people who've treated me like crap in the past. What is amazing, and I won't say which ones, some of them really must think I'm stupid and still have a low opinion of me because some of them have actually called and left messages for me or sent me emails asking me to recommend them for other jobs. Boys, let me give you this recommendation. Don't put my name on a resume and don't use me as a reference, okay? This is fair warning. I'm only going to tell you once. Because if you use me as a reference, I'm going to tell whoever calls me the truth. And that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. How would you like to be known as the person who said Tom Likas has no talent? Tom Likas will never be successful. Tom Likas is no good at what he does. Tom Likas needs to be constantly uh, monitored and micromanaged all the time, or Tom Likas won't perform. How would you like to be known as that person? How would you like to be the person, uh, you know, now you're handing in a resume to somebody and you have your references on it. How would you like to have somebody call me and have Tom Likas say, uh, oh, yeah, that's the guy who told me I'd never make it in the radio business. Yeah. Don't use me as a reference. I Literally, one guy sent me his web address, his email address. He called me at home. Hey, buddy. I just wanted to tell you I've started a new company, buddy. I've got no clients, buddy. I'm a consultant now, buddy. And I just wanted you to know that uh, somebody might call you and ask for a reference on me. And, you know, we always had a great relationship, right, buddy? So if they call, buddy, just let them know. Tell you what, buddy. Anybody calls me for a reference on you, I'm going to tell them the truth. You're an incompetent a-hole who constantly lied to me and made promises you didn't deliver on. Dissed me behind my back to other people. I don't think I don't know. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to be proactive to get revenge on any of you bastards, okay? It all comes to me. It all sits in my lap. My boys here, they've seen me get calls from some of these guys or their potential employers. I'm sitting in the office, phone rings. I've told the truth. There's one person out there who tried to uh, uh, improve her chances for getting ahead in the radio business by recording my voice secretly during a break in somebody's show when I walked into the studio and then giving it to the program director and she got a promotion after that. She hasn't worked in the radio business in a long, long time. Because anytime somebody said, uh, do you know this person? I said, oh, I certainly do. Let me tell you what she did. You do not have to be waiting out there with a pellet gun or slash anybody's tires to get revenge on them. No, you don't. Being more successful than the losers, 
who criticize you, who try to tear you down. That's all you need. And they hate it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tammy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom Likas. Tom, Hi. hello? Yes. Hi, how are you? Great. Very good. Um, I have a situation I'm really curious about. I'm not a gold digger, just to start off. I'm pretty self-sufficient. I'm going to school. I'm paying my way through college. And I recently met this guy, and he keeps, like, wanting to take me out. And he, you know, he wants to, you know, go get something to wear. I'll pay for it. Just put it on your credit card. I'll pay for it. Or I'll, he wants me on the phone, and I'm like, okay, i got to go because, you know, it's expensive. And he's like, no, 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 I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. But, like, I'm really, like, I can't ask him for the money. And, like, he keeps doing it. And I don't know, is, is he just a loser or... <laughs> Well, like, is he just like playing me or what? Well, darling, uh, why should you be engaged in any money transactions with anybody? I don't get it. Well, that's the thing. Like, he'll ask me out, and I'm like, oh, I can't go because, like, he'll ask me to really nice places. I'm like, well, I don't have anything to wear to, like, these restaurants and stuff. And he's like, no, no, no. He's like, go put it on your credit card. I'll take care of it. You know? And like, no. I'm, no. No. Run? Should I run or what? Well, what is he doing? That's crazy. You, you don't put anything on a credit card with somebody else. You know what? They should eat at cheaper places with you. And if you're willing to eat at cheap places, he should take full advantage of that. Well, I am. And, like, most of, like I'm a student, you know, so most of the time I'm like, no, we could just sit at home and, like, you know, get takeout or something. And, right. And he's like, no, no, no. But he's, like, he's really like that. Like, he loves to throw money around. Do you know, do you know, I, in fact, I just ate there last night. Do you know where I went? That is one of these great late night places, and there's several of them around LA. Yeah, have you ever been to Benito's Tacos? No, but I hear you talk about all these different restaurants, and I take note. Yes, know? well, Benito's. Now, they don't serve any alcohol, it's just food, and they're open really late. On the weekend, they're open till 4 a.m. It's the best chicken quesadilla in Los Angeles, in my <laughs> opinion. I've never had a better one. They have the rolled tacos there. They've got uh, uh, all kinds. Of, uh, oh, and here's another thing. Carne asada tacos. Spectacular. That's a restaurant? Yes, Benito's. Benito's Taco Shop. Oh, at Carne asada. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my God. If you like that food, it's so good. No, I love Mexican. And super cheap. All of it. <laughs> oh. I love Mexicans, but that's another yeah, story. Why? No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love all of it. <laughs> but, um, so but what, what's his motivation? Is he just playing with me or what? Um. Well, darling, I, I, that's a little weird that a guy would invite you out to a restaurant and then tell you to use your credit card to pay for it. Um, oh, no, he'll tell, he'll tell me to go buy something to wear and put it on the credit card. And I'm like, you no, know, I have no. books to buy. No, dear. To do. And he's no. like, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. No. No. You're not a gold digger. That's not your style. You're not like that. Yeah, and that's what, like, I mean, it's just kind of weird. I don't know if he's trying to manipulate me or something. But... Well, look, if he buys you something and gives it to you, you can certainly accept it. Mm -hmm. But uh, don't you be going out and buying things you can't afford and then putting them on your credit card. Right. And waiting I'm for like, reimbursement. No, see, and I'm really very good with my finances. Like, Don't I do it. everything off. Okay, so in the future, just tell him no and be adamant. That's right. Tom, thank you so much. I love you. Dear, I really do. I appreciate all the wonderful advice you give. I am here to help. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh. Tom Likas. Hey. I think women would enjoy sex more if they got into The Tom Likas Show. Woo. Tom like a show from Hollywood, wide open telephones at one 800 500 Tom. Now, Daniel called the show previously for some advice. And, uh, before you tell us what happened, Daniel, remind everybody what we talked about. All right. Hey, Dad. How you doing, Daniel? I'm doing good. You saved my life. I called almost one year ago. I, had, I was 20 at the time. I was with this girl for four years, so when I was 16. Um, I had also been working in retail. Um, I found out she was cheating on me, and I asked you, what should I do? You told me to dump her ass to the curb and go back to college. So one year later, I'm in school full-time. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, 
just mess around with them and just leave them there. But uh, because of you, I'm now in college full time. Um, I'm pursuing broadcasting and literature, and my life is now good. How great is that? That is. Wow, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. I think that's great, Daniel. I mean, I had been listening to you for two years. I never really took your advice until uh, she started cheating on me. I listen to you every day, and you're you're the father I never had, honestly. Da Daniel, I'm proud. Thank you, really, for a great story. Thank you. Can you uh, take me old, old school? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Ruben on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ruben. Hey, buddy, I got a quick story for you. Okay. All right, I was at Taco Bell not too long ago, probably about a week ago, and you guys are taking out somebody Kobe style, of course, and me being the true Tom Likas fan I am, I just turned it up, you know, just a little louder when I was ordering my food. When I got to pay, the guy said, hey, you call like a fan listener, aren't you? I said, yep, proud of it. Got my food for free. I love that. <laughs> Fantastic. One quick That's one off thing. to Taco Bell. How great is that? That's right. That's right. One more thing. It just got out of a serious relationship for two years. Dumped that bitch, and now I got three dates lined up in a row. Oh, Different girls. My. And guess what? I only got 40 bucks in my pocket. How great is that? Just want to say thank you, Tom, for everything, and wondering if you could take me out with the bong rip and a thank you, Jesus. You know I can. Thank you, Jesus. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here comes Jonathan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Big fan. I love uh, your drinking show over the weekend. Thank you. Oh, my drinking show. We never called it that. The drinking show. Oh, Tasting room, yeah, you know. Yeah, the boozing show. <laughs> hey, uh, I had some, uh, I had a little bit of a question for you. You're always talking about, you know, uh, you got to go to school, got to go to school, got to, you know, make something of yourself. Well, I did the whole college thing, got my AA, and, you know, didn't really want to, you know, be at, at a desk all day long. And so I uh, went to a trade school and uh, just getting my uh, trade certificate. And uh, um, I, I just wanted to know what, what you what you thought of that. You know, should I continue doing the trade thing or should I, you know. Not well, I don't think you should keep changing course like that. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> first of all, when you say you got an AA degree, that means uh, not that you're in a 12 step program. It means you went to a community college. Oh uh, yeah, it's well. It's uh, I got so it was two Army, years so in a community uh, college. You did right. Uh yeah, basically. All right. So you really didn't go to like a real college. You went to a starter college. Well, it was. Uh, I got credits for doing army classes. This army was. classes. Uh, yeah, um, during army training, uh, um, I'm in the intelligence field, and uh, that uh, army training uh, counted towards uh, credits for the. Uh, um, for the uh, degree, and uh, then I just continued it online afterwards. All right. Well, um, here's the deal. I don't know what tra trade you're studying for. What what are you trying to do? Uh, lineman. We uh, we climb poles and we work on the uh, uh, the high tension wires for the uh, power companies. Would you find that to be a satisfying? And, and by the way, I'm not presupposing the answer here. Would you find that to be a satisfying job for the rest of your life? I love doing it. It is so much fun. You have no idea and, how much fun and it is. And when you are getting pole. older and you can't climb a pole anymore, what will you do for a living then? Uh, well, th this position has actually uh, got a lot of uh, positions you can go to uh, over the top of it and a lot of positions that uh, uh, that you can fill other than being a lineman once you start doing it for a while. All right. Now, my opinion is that uh, everybody who can should go to a real college. If you start off in community college and then you move on to a real college, that's great. But uh, I believe everybody should do that. I All believe right, trade school is for people who didn't want to study hard enough, didn't have any ambition, and uh, they, they know they have to do something for a living, and so they go to a trade school because it's easier than a college. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it is a lot easier than a college, I'll tell you that. But, uh, right. I, man, I studied my butt off. <laughs> But but nothing nothing worth happening come uh, when having comes easy. Definitely true. Definitely true. So um, again, um, I I don't think 
I don't think trade school is the right course for most guys, but you're already there. I don't think going back to college now after you've been zigzagging all over the place would be a good idea. All right, Tom. And if you're happy with what you're doing, all right. But my opinion, you sound like an intelligent guy. You could have done more. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I, I, I can't see myself wearing a suit being uh, doing the whole, uh, you know, corporate thing because I tried it. It's it's just not me. You know, I, I wanted to be outside. I wanted to be 85 feet in the air. I mean, I'm an Army guy, you know, uh, in my heart. You know, i got to be outside. I understand that. But uh, wouldn't you rather be outside as the owner of a big business? Uh, <laughs> wouldn't you rather be outside as... Um, I don't know, you could own uh, the biggest vineyard in the world or the biggest uh, um, agricultural business in the world. You could be the head of Cargill or Archer's Daniel Midland or something like that. Well, that, that would be great, but that requires capital. That requires, you know, having... No, no, uh, I mean the actual uh, company it itself. Up. Somebody's already invested the capital. I mean, imagine if you could be the CEO of one of those big businesses. Well, I, I don't know. Um, I, I think being the CEO would definitely not be something I would want to do. I mean, being the owner of uh, of like wouldn't you know, want to, or franchise. wouldn't you, you know, owning a big business. Well, see again, if you became um, um, the best at something uh, after getting a college degree and working at it, you could work your way up and 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 not only be a CEO but ultimately be your own owner, be your own boss. Yeah, I guess I guess so. It just. Uh, it, it, it's, I don't know. I don't know how I really to describe it because, you know, I mean, I, I would like to think of myself as a very intelligent guy, you know, but, uh, but then to, to take that intelligence and, and put it towards, you know, something where I'm sitting at a desk all day long and, you know, doing the same tedious stuff, it just, it just seems inane. I understand what you're saying. And again, you've, you've made a choice in your life and uh, you just want me to put a rubber stamp on it. I understand. Um, but I think that uh, guys ought to go to college especially, study as hard as they can, get as many degrees as they can, and uh, get degrees in things that pay off with big money gigs, whether it be uh, as CEOs or uh, creators of content or uh, whether it be uh, entrepreneurs, what have you. Just my opinion. But good luck. Thank you for that. one eight hundred five eight hundred tom is our telephone number. Greg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, hey, Tom. What's going on? Not much. Right on. Hey, I just want to say I love your show, and I've been listening for a long time. Well, I'm glad that's uh, still the case, Greg. I'm glad you're still here. Oh, great. Hey, listen, I want to run something by you. Uh, basically, I'm 25. I'm engaged, and uh, I've been dating this girl for about two and a half years. Why are you engaged? See, I... I just something I, I should have taken your advice on before. But uh, you, who knows? Maybe I won't be after I'm done talking to you. That's what I'm going to ask you about, you know? Okay. So I've been dating her for about two and a half years, and uh, I have got to know her through my brother who used to date her, and they dated for a couple years before. And uh, so I realized that uh, about a year ago that she and my brother had hooked up while she and I were going out. And That's all you need to know. Need to know what? That's all you need to know about her and her integrity. Yeah, but, you know, like, my, my brother and I, we straightened it out. She and I sort of straightened it out. It's been in the back of my mind ever since. And, you know, before I really go through with it, I just want to know, I mean, do you, should I kind of go through with this, keeping in mind that, you know, that she could be faithful to me, for the rest of our I, lives. First of all, there's no reason for you to be getting married uh, to anybody. Let's start with that. Yeah. The, and then there's even less reason to get married to somebody who cheated on you. And finally, there's even less reason to get married to somebody who cheated on you with your own brother. Yeah, see, I kind of overlooked it. I mean, I kind of turned the Stop overlooking it. It's important. Yeah, I see. So you think that I should just dump this whole thing? Of course I do. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go with you, man. I, you, you were kind of like my final stamp of approval. That's why I'm glad that I, I was able to call into you, you know? You didn't really think I was going to put my stamp of approval on a marriage, did you? That's a good point. That's another really good point. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's true. Let your brother marry her. 
Yeah, do us both a favor. Then, then he'll have to live with the fact that you've had sex with her. Yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> I, I, I know you're not big on the revenge thing. I was listening before, but you know that's uh, that's one way I can leave it. Uh, I can live with it a little more easily. You know. Yes, that's exactly the way to go, and that's what I would do. Exactly. Exactly. Well, hey, I appreciate it, Tom. I'm gonna keep listening. You're a great guy. You're uh, doing great work. Appreciate it. I'm doing the Lord's work, as you know. Doing the Lord's work. That's right. Even better way to put it. Hey, appreciate it, Tom. Thanks a lot, Greg. Thank you. Shannon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you, Tom? I'm great. Well, normally I listen to your show every so often. I don't necessarily agree with you because, you know, I am a woman. But today you kind of got under my skin when you were talking about how trade school isn't for everybody. I teach middle school. I am 24 years old. This is my second year teaching. I went to a junior college right away, and then I... Worked really hard, and I transferred to a four-year, graduated, got my credential, blah, blah, blah. So I am what you would say the typical transfer student. But what I don't like is when you're saying about students that trade schools, what, ridiculous. Um, What about people that want to be in the radio business? Is there a four-year degree to be a radio DJ? I highly, by the way, there is, and I highly recommend that people not study radio, broadcasting, or communications at a college. Well, they say that for every degree. If they say if you want to be filmed, don't do film. But the point is, is that most trade schools do offer certain people to certain things. How would we get carpenters in this world if people didn't go to trade schools? But again, How would we get darling, here's the politically incorrect thing that you don't want to say is that some people are just plain lazy or slow or they like sitting home smoking weed with their buddies, and therefore they have no interest in aspiring to anything more that would take any thought, creativity, or work. That's not true. And that is exactly true. Country, that is exactly in this true. Country, in this country, it is a very big subject that is not paid much attention to is our college. A, college is really expensive. At Cal State now, it's There are cheaper $2, colleges $2, you can go to, and there are other states where you hey, can go to finish, college. You can do it. finish, okay? Don't tell me how to do the show. I've been doing the show a long time. I'm glad you have, but unfortunately in this country... Without your help. We do not offer a way for every person to go to college. Take the money out Everybody of can what go to a students, college. What Everybody. About students that are on IEPs, that is Individualized Education Plan. Students with learning disabilities who can't All right, so they're slow. Four years of algebra. So learning dis- people with learning disabilities are slow. But that isn't their fault. I didn't and say whose fault so. it is, but it's, it's, it's politically incorrect. Even point it out. Some of them are brilliant. Well, which ones? Rain Man? Who are you talking about? Hey, learning disabilities don't mean that people are autistic like Tom Cruise in Rain Man. Learning it wasn't Tom Cruise. It was Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man, by the okay. way. I'm sorry. I'm a teacher that teaches math. I don't teach movies. My point is... Hey, you comment on movies you haven't seen. ...that are on individualized education plans, they are not even allowed into college. We don't have a way. If they don't meet... All right. If you, schools, want, if you want all the retards to go to trade school, school, I'm with you all the way. That's fine. For it. Got no problem. Forrest Gump wants to go to a trade school. I think hey, that's fantastic. Glad there's a place for Forrest, Forrest Gump. to go. You have students that simply can't do the math because they don't have the reasoning skills in their heads. All right. Again, the stupid. It doesn't mean they're Just stupid. admit they're stupid. Okay, it doesn't mean they're lazy. You're, you're proving my point here. You're saying that everybody who's slow, retarded, or dumb, uh, the trade school is good for them, and I agree with that. But they're not because they're slow, stupid, or dumb. It's because some How many Rhodes Scholars go to them. trade school? Hello? Furthermore, how many, not everybody wants to be in college for a minimum of four Because years. they are lazy they or slow. Six years. Because it's they are lazy because or slow. Our colleges are impacted, and they can't even get the units. Most of the classes that you need to take at most of our major colleges, oh you God. can't get in the semester you want to take them. Oh, stop so trade it. school is for great for people that need it. It's great for people who like to smoke weed with a girlfriend or knocked up their girlfriend at well, 17. You, you can think that, and I beg to differ. But well, I want well to I'm saying yourself. it because it's true, and it's politically incorrect, but I have never cared about the fact that it's politically incorrect. I'm going to say it anyway. Tom. Oh, yeah. Like this. 
I wouldn't know how to give dating tips to date your aunt or your cousin. <laughs> Good, because I don't need any. Good place to cruise for Poon, the next family reunion. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. You busy over there? Yeah, what's going on, dude? Doing a radio show here. Hey, yeah, I had a, a little story you might be interested in hearing. Um, ran into to, to this broad I used to go out with back in the day, right? She ended up, uh, I'm not, you know, to not try to say this, but she ended up leaving me for some guy, some other, some big jog type of type of guy, right? Viral, and so I'm doing good now. This and that. And, uh, By the way, so you've got to watch your mouth. Okay, you can't use the S word, the F word, the T word, the C word, the P word. Oh no! <laughs> I'm on the radio, about that, dude. Well, let me get. To, uh, well, she runs into a cousin of mine, and um, my cousin tells her, "Well, yeah, you know, he's doing good. This and that." And uh, she's like, "Well, I like to hook up with him again." So she gives me a call, and I'm like, "All right, let's go up." You know. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Let's go out for dinner, catch up. She agrees. I go and pick her up, take her to a nice restaurant. I mean, like one of those, you know, $50 plate restaurants kind of thing, right? We get there, and um, here comes our waiter. I remember his name. His name was Brian. And uh, I look at him, and before she takes her order, I go, oh, excuse me, Brian, I'm off. Can you make sure there's two separate orders or two separate uh, bills? And she looks at me like, no way, right? And I'm looking at her like, what's wrong? She's like, are you serious? I said, yes. I'm like, you pay for your food and I pay for mine. Do you understand what two separate bills mean? And she looked like she wanted to slap me. I kid you not. By the way, what and were you it, doing at dinner with her? Well, I, you know, it's been a while since I've seen her. I just wanted to go out there. Well, just because I'm buying her dinner doesn't mean I'm going to buy her dinner, dude. No, no, but the point you is, know? why even waste your time? <laughs> Well, this chick is hotter than hell, believe me. She and she looked great that night. She was wearing one of those skirts only certain chicks can fit into. I know I think I know you you know what I'm talking about, right? I do. And I just you know, we just I just wanna see what she was about because I know she just wanted to go out just because she heard I was doing better or good now and she wanted to get into my pockets, dude, and I wasn't gonna have it, so I tested huh? her. That's and great. She, so so when the bill came or the bills came, what happened? Well, it didn't even get that far, dude. Because she was like, no way, I'm not, I'm not going to pay for my own food. I go, well, you got two choices. I'm like, you can pay for your own, or you can pay for your own food, or after we eat, you can wash dishes. And she's still like looking at me like with this look on her face, like she couldn't believe that. Well, you know what? Get your stuff together. Let's, let's, you know, I'm taking you home. And she was like, you're kidding. I go, no. I go, you want to sit outside in the curb and watch me pull up with another broad in another hour? I'm gonna get your stuff. I'm taking you home. She started packing her stuff, and I looked at the guy. I'm like, Brian, I'll be back in another, another hour with another chick, dude. <laughs> so we left, dude. And on the way, taking her home, no, we're not talking. Nothing. Nothing's going on. <laughs> and, she, and she's like, she's like, are you serious? You're really going to pick someone? I said, yes. Yeah, you know what? I'm hungry now, dude. I'm, I'm going to drop you off, call someone else, pick them up, and go back to the same place. And she's like, unbelievable. I'm like, well, what do you want to do? And then she's like, well, can, can we just go to your place? <laughs> oh really? That, that, dude, that killed <laughs> it right there. Oh that God, no! So, oh, I mean, an hour later, she was sleeping on my side of the bed with a thumb in her mouth, dude. You know, that's how that went. Uh, I, well, that you know, part is great. I, but me, I don't waste my time with exes. I just don't do it. <laughs> well, this is funny. This is why I want to do it. Just because she heard I was doing good and, and I got money, you know what I'm saying? She wants to go out with me now, or back. And I'm like, dude, no. I tested her, and sure enough, I was not BSing. If she paid for food, she, I, I took her home. But we didn't even make her. We went back to my place, set her up there, dude. Still got her calling me like at 2, 3 in the morning some nights. Wow. All right. I st I, and I still wouldn't Food's be wasting story. time with her. I'll tell you right now. 
<laughs> I do. Well, you know what, too? She's listening to your show, I bet. So if she, she calls and complains, I'm telling you, it happened. All right, AC, I believe you. All right, you take care now, Tom. Thank you, you so me? much. <laughs> Tom on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom. Yes. You know what's funny? Anytime I act like an idiot, they put me on the air right away. I think it's because the only way you could start and you win arguments all the time. Wait a minute. So this is so you lied to get on the air? Is that right? Well, you're not getting up. And you, part of being clever is not calling up and saying, guess what, dude? Guess what, dude? Forget it. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Brandon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Brandon. Tom, love your show. I've been a long time listener for about nine years. I agree with almost everything you say, but I'm having I'm having a problem with this one. Uh, last week, I think it was Wednesday, somebody called in about uh, about Ron Paul. I am a supporter, and uh, you said something about how you you were going to bet him a hundred thousand dollars of your own pocket that he will not become president. Now, ever, ever. Probably, that's he will never, true. ever be the president of the United States, ever. And and you know what? That's probably true. He probably will not get the nomination. However, um, being a longtime listener, I know that you have you have a tendency to lean libertarian. Yes. So I, I didn't But here's understand. the thing. I lean libertarian. I'm not a capital L libertarian because libertarians are nuts. So then when you say you lean libertarian, what, what does that mean? I like, mean what, what you... I'm for much smaller government than we have today. Correct. So but, as, as but not as small as libertarians want. Because okay. libertarians would eliminate the post office, public schools, the Federal Aviation Administration, and a number of other uh, uh, governmental agencies that we really, really need. They, they'd strip it down to the military, and even then they wouldn't get involved in anything going on around the world, like probably World War II and other things we got involved in where we actually were needed. Well, for example, right now I think we're fighting a war that we don't necessarily have to be over there. And I think I agree with that. But, uh, you know, libertarians, when Hitler came along, libertarians would say, hey, 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 hey let's not get involved in that. Well, I think they're, they're just against preemptive war. I don't know that necessarily they wouldn't get involved completely, and I think that Ron Paul would get involved because he actually is a Republican, but he— No, he's a Republican now. He, he, he was formerly the Libertarian candidate for president. Right, I understand, in 88, but he's been a 10-term congressman now, which is, what, 20 years? As right, a because a Libertarian can't win. No, and I, and I understand that. I mean, we have a two-party system, but I'm just sick and tired of all of these candidates, and, and they're the same. I mean, the, Giuliani is the leading candidate for the Republican Party right now, and, I mean, there's not too much of a difference between him and Hillary. I mean, what, what conservative views does Giuliani have? He's not for smaller government. Let me tell He's you something. They'd taxes. have different views if it would get people to say, I'm going to vote for that person. Well, I, I just I, I just think it's a phenomenon right now with Ron Paul, and I understand what you're saying about he's There's never no phenomenon. President. Every presidential election, some goon, some lunatic, a no, Ross I, Perot, I Ralph Nader, so one of these guys decides they're going to run for president, and then there's a few sycophants like yourself who call talk shows and try to make it sound like it's a landslide, that this guy I'm is going to so pull I'm off some miracle... Oh, this guy, this time. guy is in the, the the decimal points. He's he's going nowhere. He's actually he's pulling above Thompson, and he's pulling above McCain. Thompson, Thompson is nowhere near the top. Tom, nobody thinks Thompson has a chance of winning. Well, I'm just, I, he's nobody he's thinks so. Mainstream media, a front runner. What? He, by the mainstream media, he is considered a front runner behind uh, what Giuliani, oh, Romney, I don't, well, first uh, of all, Thompson, and then. Um, um, uh, Huckabee. I, I, from what I've read, even Huckabee is ahead of Thompson. I think Thompson's ahead of, of, of Huckabee, actually. Huckabee the point is, is these guys are fighting Paul. for crumbs, okay? I'm, nobody below Romney and Giuliani is going to get that nomination. Forget right. it. Right, and you know what? McCain's a nut. Pa Ron no. Paul's a nut. Uh, Fred Thompson, it looks like he could, they could find better things to do than run for president. 
Right. Right. Well, the thing is, I mean, I, I hear what you said with, your, with what you're saying about he's probably not. Gonna, well, he's not going to become president. But at the same time, I don't think that we can say that he's a nut. I mean, we had one of his supporters, one of his supporters, brought in over four point five million dollars two weeks ago. Online, well, you know what? Howard Dean single. was a nut too. He brought in lots and lots of money, and he didn't get anywhere near the presidency or even the nomination. For God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.